forward. Josh Giddy is out there with Thunder. And it's Muscala in at the five, roaming the paint. Hey, Brent, tonight we got a terrific matchup in the backcourt. Let's rewind here a little bit, go back to when you played. Who were some of the guards you really enjoyed playing Maybe against? Seven. What if I start with the list of the guys, Kevin, I didn't enjoy playing against? If I named Allen Iverson, Mitch Richmond, oh, and of course, Michael Jordan. Not the funnest nights at work, if you get my drift, but I did love playing one John Barry. Now, here is Muscala. straight down and how about just floating to the rim on that slam boy when he gets up I mean he gets up we're about one minute into the first that's the thunder here's Dort here's Baisley Connects in the foul line Dennis jumper. Paisley. Wanting to do whatever is good for the team on any given possession. That time Dort playing unselfishly. Defended by Dort. And he uses the glass on the lane. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Now oh, here's Giddy. Number seven. First personal foul. First team foul. A three off the inbound. Muscala misses. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. The first quarter of action, two minutes in. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Oklahoma City had one of the all-time NBA trios, didn't they? Brent Durant and Harden and Westbrook, three future MVPs. I mean, I don't know that we'll ever see that again. Yeah, incredible, Kevin, going to that finals in 2012. Obviously really young and green at that time. But unfortunately, Harden was traded away that summer. They took a hard line stance, and uh, he was off to Houston. And you just think back, would they have won titles together, and how many? And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistleblower. Talking about defensive specials. Shooting for Oklahoma City. about the hustle Lou Dort shows on D? This is a guy you throw out there, and you say, sick him. Go guard the best player on the other team. And that's something that he takes that challenge on, takes a lot of pride on the defensive end, and has become a very important part of this team. One of the things that I think opponents struggle with is Lugans, Dort, and his build. You rarely see a combination of a guy that might not be that tall, but has that kind of width and explosiveness athletically. Now here's Giddy. This is it to Thunder. Outside, Dort. That's three pointers off the mark. Gotten all five of those shots to go down in the first quarter. Terrific start. At this point, I don't know what you can do to slow this team down. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. Giddy the pass to Thunder. Giddy with it. And it's blocked. Approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Six to shoot. Baseline jumper. Good as the jump shot fall. Excellent all around performance so far. Hence the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart, the other one playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. And a new group in here for the Thunder. Robinson Earls checked in for Mike Muscala. Okrzewski's come in for Basil. Wiggins is checked in for Dort. And it's Kenrich Williams in for Josh Giddy. Now here's Williams. Pass 
to Thunder. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Williams kicks to Wiggins. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Here's Thunder. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. The pass to Prez. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I like their focus coming in to perfect execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. 13. Thunder trailing by 11. Pass to Williams. Here's Thunder. Outside Williams. Passes it to Thunder. He kicks to Wiggins. Offline with his three. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. That one goes in. He's got eight. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, and just dominating, controlling that spot. Now here's Williams. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Over to the left wing. Three-pointer. That one's no good. That makes him one for two. Now here's Prez. D right on him. To the left side wing. Covered by Wiggins. Five on the clock. 27 seconds left in the first. And the shot goes in. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Now here's Wiggins. Back to Williams. Wiggins outside. Looking to end the run. And it's Thunder missing. Up in time. And he got that one up in time, but it doesn't go in. And after just one quarter of play, a double-digit differential on the scoreboard. Up by 15. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. Fans, make some noise for your dance team. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. Yeah, they did a great job. Just the initial thrust of that attack, as soon as they got the ball, constantly in transition. But when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul called. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. And for the Thunder. Josh Giddy is out there with Lou Dort. Then it's Mike Muscala. And it's Okushevsky in at the three. The small forward team. And they know for next time, don't let him establish position down low. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's, it's a wrap. Pass to Baisley. Here's Pakusevsky. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Pakusevsky. Pakusevsky's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And about Pokushevsky, what a nice addition he's been, Brent, to the roster for Oklahoma City. He had some nice size to the roster, and by that I mean kind of just height. He is a pretty skinny player out there, but he's a good scorer. He can handle the ball. He's got some skills as a big guy. It's about calming down a little bit and finding some more consistency with the role that he plays. And for Oklahoma City, Lou Dort out there with Josh Giddy. 
Then it's Mike Muscala, and it's Baisley in at the four. Five. That one good for two. Time well, there you go. The one team operating on all cylinders at both ends. Steals, fast break buckets, and, and the other team in scramble mode. Time called here the Thunder decide to talk it over. And, Bray, you were a pretty versatile player. Which of your skills was the most difficult to master? Well, I think going inside and, and finishing, you know, going in over big physical guys who could either block your shot or, you know, send you to the deck pretty quick. So going in and having confidence to finish around the basket is, is certainly a skill. Here's Pakushevsky on the wing, Giddy. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Impressive decision there as he just shot that one. No hesitation. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. To the inside. It's stolen by Dort. The pass to Pakusevsky. And here is Giddy. Kicks it to Muscala from deep. Nope, not that time. Nothing for two from the field. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Off target with his three. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Right side, Dort. To the right side. The tray hits it from three-point range. Baisley. Baisley's got five points so far. Good to see Baisley step up and knock down the three ball. Out to the wing. Takes the three. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Almost six for eight on the night. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Pakushevsky. Count it. Alexi Pakushevsky has got five points now in the quarter. Giddy defending. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time he's down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Two minutes Both teams will make substitutions. Thunder passes to Moscow. Three-pointer, and Giddy gets it to go. Josh, Giddy. Giddy's got his second bucket tonight. And a nice stroke. That's coming along for Josh Giddy. Pass to Prez. He's covered by Muscala. Tries it from nine. And that one drops for him. He's got six. Under trailing by 13. Thunder passes to Williams. And here is Giddy. One sixteen left from the first half of basketball. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Giddy at his size can get to the inside and make some things happen. That time drawing the foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. This team has credited Giddy's background for shaping him as a player. You know, he grew up in a house dominated by basketball. Both his parents played professionally in Australia, and that goes a long way toward developing your basketball IQ. Passes to Prez. Left block shot on the way. Count the basket. 54 seconds left to play in the first half. Pass to Thunder. Now here's Williams. There's the pass to Robinson Earl. Back to Williams. 
Up and in on the way. Williams. Williams has got his first points of the night. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. Out to the right wing. Now here's Prez. Giddy defending. He took the opportunity when he saw it. Yeah, he's got to knock that down if you give it to him. Uncompetitive there defensively. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty right now. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Let's it go from deep. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And that does it for the first half of play. Up 10. And 26. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, Every Taking a look at this home squad. And, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them, not so much for the other team. That's been the difference in the game. And over to Kenny. Your thoughts on the Thunder's first game. The energy on... And that... Enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for the Thunder. Team it's a 10-point game. Number five. Third personal foul. First team foul. Here's Giddy. Knocked away. So for Oklahoma City right now, we'll see Dorch and Baisley playing it forward. Thunder is out there with Josh Giddy. And it's Muscala in at the five down low. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. Well, the Thunder are trying to build something that will last. The front office says you stick to your principles, your values, and you think long-term. We're focused on building a sustainably great team. We we'll continue to be forward-facing in that respect. Kevin, excellent. It's a good philosophy, and they're not looking for any shortcuts, which is admirable. David, thanks. Oklahoma City shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year, 76%, right around the middle of the road. And he makes the first. He doesn't get the second one. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Defensive. And giving up some inches inside that makes up for it with an aggressive style. Yeah, the big man not going to slow him down from getting that deuce. Number five. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Thunder trailing by 11. Out left to the wing. Here's Thunder. No good on the triple. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. A putback. It's good on the putback. 11 points in the game. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Fires the three. Connects from three-point range. No doubt about it. He has done a ton 
to help his team, but he's going to have to do even more if they want to have a chance to get back in this. So the wing on the left. On the top of the key. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. Thunder's got five points now this quarter. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And you can just sense his determination, trying to do everything he can to keep this game within reach. To the paint. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. Yeah, good job to take him right at the D. And he knocks it down the first one. Okashevsky's checked in for the Thunder. Wiggins comes in for Dort. So he hits one of two from the strike. Wiggins outside. Pass to Thunder. Passes it to Giddy. Six on the shot clock. From deep three-point range. Oklahoma City gets a new shot clock. Off the mark, had a chance to trim it to single digits. Gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. That's in for his eight bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, They've carried it out. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. For Oklahoma City, they have made four free throws from the line and missed two. Grant, the lead up to the 2019 draft was an interesting time for Darius Basin. Yeah, here's one of those players who opted out of going to college and ended up working for a shoe company prior to going to the draft a year before. Talked about going the G League route, but trained on his own, got himself ready showing some steady improvement here. Giddy the pass to Baisley. That one go. Just count it. Baisley's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, Baisley not operating a ton in the mid-range, but on the money that time. Pass to Prez. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Tries it from nine, and he hits the jump shot. Brez has got his second basket of the night. A difficult jumper against a much taller defender. That's what confidence can do for you. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, Coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment. A different look for Oklahoma City. Robinson Earls checked in for Baisley. And it's Kenrich Williams in for Josh Giddy. Outside Williams. Two remaining in the third. Two minutes. The pass to Pokrasevsky. Shot clock at six. Pass to Robinson Earl. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Gone six of eight on field goal attempts in the third. A 75% clip. And good that time. That's Number nice five. vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Pass to Thunder. Wiggins with it. Williams with a clean look. That three off the mark. He's not the guy that you want to give a wide open look from three point range. They're lucky that that one doesn't cost them. Kicks it to Prez. 107 left in the third. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Now beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Robinson Earl. Here's Thunder. 
On the path to Pokersevsky. Oklahoma City moving it around. There's the triple. And it's Thunder missing. Gone seven and nine from the field to start this second half. Some tremendous shooting from them. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Third team foul. No good on that. Dort, he's checked in for the Thunder. Number 13. Good on the second free throw. 36 seconds left in the third. Pass to Robinson Earl. Releases. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And that's 13 points for Thunder. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Driving in. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Up by 16. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Well, sometimes that's what can separate some of the best players, not just creating for yourself, but creating for others as well. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Passes it to Prez. Lock at six. From 18 feet away, the shot comes out, and Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Taking a look at the Thunder, they've got Josh Giddy. He's out there with Lou Dort. Mike Muscala out there with Williams, and it's Baisley in at the four shot. And there's the pass to Williams. And they recover it. That shot off. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just must face it. Oh, a foul call. Move it, Dort. Second personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Number five. That free throw missing. Two and the Thunder making a switch here. Wiggins is checked in. No good at the strike this time. Second misses also. Thunder trailing by 16. Ball's not loose. Covered by Wiggins. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And the layup falls. Excellent play. Just adding fuel to the fire and really trying to put this one out of reach. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. Dort passes to Baisley. Wiggins with the bounce pass. Here's Baisley. Clock at four. Outside, Dort. Pass to Wiggins. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Muscala. No good on the three. In a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes it back. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Thunder trailing by 21. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Oh. 
And it's the Thunder with the ball. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Chalk up two there. Giddy. That's impressive stuff from Giddy just getting on the interior part of the defense. Covered by Wiggins. That's the free fly. Rebound by Muscala. Thunder trailing by 19. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Giddy. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Thunder's checked in for Wiggins. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Takes it inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. 21 points in the game. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. Pass to Thunder. Let's it go with a three. That one, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Hands it from downtown. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Here's Baisley. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Three points. And, and Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. Gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. He's covered by Muscala. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Now that play never gets Number old. Four. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Thunder passes to Giddy. Now the dish to Muscala. Outside, Dort. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. I'm watching the line violation. there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Both teams changing it up here. Substitution on the court. Now here's Williams. Now Williams. Outside Williams. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. ABC passes to ABC. Now, here's Hugh John. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to ABC. Fires from the wing. No good. Shot missing. So the Thunder will take it the other way. Loads it up for Williams. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Pass to Ujar. One oh three left to play in the final quarter. ABC passes to ABC. Now AI. Six to shoot. From deep. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Williams looking over the floor. Now the pass to Williams. And it's good. Williams. Two points. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Pass to you, Jar. He's guarded by Williams. Now, here's Hugh John. Pass to ABC. Here's ABC. Right wing. Here's ABC. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Williams up on top. And so the home crowd treated to a win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really Thanks for put in to a supreme effort. Sure you I, it just felt you like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that'll do it, folks. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew. We'll see you next time.